Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. Um, <clears throat> today we ended up doing, um, well through the last month, six apartments for a retirement center. Um, they're Hobart dishwasher. They're single phase with a neutral. Um, but they do run at 40 amps. Um, their existing ones only had 110 volts at 20 amps. So we had to basically rewire them. Um, the concern was is that not getting any damage in throughout the area. Um, <clears throat> so what we did here, this is a three-phase panel. This is our black, red, and blue <clears throat> with our neutral. We just ended up putting in a two bolts of BL bolt-on Siemens breaker. We'll come out of there and then this is our three-quarter inch that we ran. Every single one of them been a little bit different just how we had to kick them. <clears throat> so once we got into the, the attic right here, um, I'll show you here. We just came up into here and bent uh, a conduit here and then three quarter flexed. And then as you can see, sorry, the light's a little bad. We had to caulk around that to get through that firewall. <clears throat> Before I move on, I just want to say that this fish tape is amazing. Little trick of this trade, because we had to go through three different areas of firewalls, including the ceiling, almost four areas, we had to seal it, but we had to flex between the hall, and I'll show you. This is the only thing that would push through. <clears throat> Normally, I'm a guy that says if it's not if it's not client, it's not mine. But this right here by Southwire, fantastic fish tape, guys. 125 foot, just plenty for what I do. Um, <clears throat> this whole raceway run was probably up 90 feet. Let me flex all the way through here. Got up and down into that attic hole, and then. <clears throat> There's an attic hole here and a double door above that. So this is like du double walled with double drywall. It's all because it's retirement center. Um, just ignore my strap right here. We're going to get a nut on that. But we flexed it into the conduit by using a flex connector to a rigid three quarter inch coupling to a three quarter inch set screw. And so we literally will push that fish tape all the way down. No problem at all. No soap. Fantastic fish tape. Once we've come down, <clears throat> we've already knocked out a hole right here. We will come through here next week and then we'll be able to push a three quarter inch flex into that and lock that lock washer and then replace this dishwasher. So, um, just wanted to help you guys out. The other trick was that you have to use a steel flex on this. And I used some J-hooks, which look like this. Perfect for the three quarter inch flexing it. But again, you don't want that soft flex, you want that hard uh, steel flex because that seemed to push a lot better after our next, after our first one, we did the next five like that. And, uh, and then also guys, just a wire spool like this, this little racks right here. A lot of electricians already know all that, but anyways, give us a call. Um, hopefully that help you out with a little bit what we're doing here today and see some other stuff we do. We do a lot of residential, but small commercial applications like this. Thanks.